So, Paul, what, what was the reason and the drive behind returning to United then for you? Honestly, it's like I came back because I wanted to, and um, like they show me, they show me that they want, they wanted me back, and I think we have, like we have, we can do a lot of things. We have a good team, like who wants, who wants to, to win the league again, you know, because it's been like. I mean, four years. I think four years. Like the like United didn't win the the league, so I think it was the the right time to come back too. I mean, with the big manager, top players, and a, a new team, you know. So you've described it as coming back home. Can you tell us what the club and the city as well what it means to you? I grew, I grew up. I really grew up here. So I came. Uh, I was sixteen. I done my teenage here, so like my driving license and everything, like. So, for me, it's like uh, it's like my house here. I would say. I used to come back here, like feel just normal. Like I go, I come back home, you know. And I think not a lot of people can can understand it. They would say, oh, they like he's, he left, like maybe Italy, came back here, but they they done this to him and blah blah. But like I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Like I, even if I left United, I wasn't like like I, I didn't. I never hate like Manchester United. I never hate the city. I never hate all these things. So I'm very happy to come back and and to to wear this shirt again. You mentioned the manager before. Do you think he's going to improve you now? How much of an impact can he have on your career going forward? I think, and I'm I'm sure that he will improve me. Like he knows how to talk to to players. He knows how to. Make them achieve like their objective and stuff. So, very happy with that, and I'm sure that we, I can I can improve a lot and can do a, a great great things here. What was the first thing that he said to you, Mourinho? Um, first, well, welcome back. Like he said, <laughs> he said welcome back, and like ch thanks, thank thank you to to trust us. That's what I said. And obviously, you knew some of the players already from being here before, but. We've noticed Slatan Ibrahimovic, you and him see, seem to have struck up a bromance already. You seem good friends. Yeah, well, Zlatan is like, I think he's like like um, the big brother of everyone, I would say. So I always make jokes, make everyone relax and, uh, and everything. And on the pitch, he's like a winner. So he, he will really help the team with uh, Waza too, because he's like, the, Waza is like the oldest, maybe the oldest in the team. I think, yeah, and uh, Zlatan, I think, is the oldest in the team too. So <laughs> um, it's like, it's like it's to them too. Like they will, um, they will help the team a lot. What sort of things has Zlatan been making fun of then so far? Uh, today he make, he make fun of my um, my training uh, when I was on, on holiday. You know, the boxing training. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was funny. He said, "You don't need all this to." To, to beat someone, you just need one punch. <laughs> That's what he said, so that was funny. And for you then, being back at United, what, what do you think you'll bring to this club now? What, what's the quality that you've got that perhaps Manchester United needed? Um, I hope I will, like, I always give my best. I hope they will, uh, I will help the team as much as possible. I will always give my uh, 100% on, uh, on the field and when I wear this shirt, so I'm ready to do everything, you know, I'm ready to to play everywhere in the midfield and I just follow the team, I follow the the coach where, where he tell me to, to play and I just go and play and enjoy. Where do you see yourself slotting in then? Is it just where the manager says or have you got a, a position in mind where you think you'll play? Honestly, even if I say I want to play keeper, the, the coach has to <laughs> decide. So, obviously, like um, everybody knows my position, like midfielder, if you play in two, I always uh, maybe on the left side or the right side, but with one midfielder behind, or we play into. Depends, you know. It depends where how the coach wants to play too. Obviously, you've played in the Premier League previously for United, but it was a few years ago. Now you're a different player. Now, do, do you know how your attributes will fit back into the Premier League? Have you thought about that? Um, yeah, you need like always when you come to England, you need to adapt. So I will see in my first. My first game, my first feelings, but I know that there you have more space than in Italy. 
So I will just try to to find the space to run without the ball too and with the ball. You see, I know it's more physics here, so you have to kick players. <laughs> the, ref the, refer the referee will just go and play on. So you need to. I rem I remember some some things. So I will. Uh, we will see the the first feeling uh, for the first game. You know. What's your ambition this season then? The first the first season back. What's the manager said as well about his ambitions? My ambition always be that always be number one. Always always be the best, of course. So to be the best is like to win the to win the league. So that's the objective of of everyone. That's what you want to do. You want to go back to the Champions League because I know that's where we belong. And um, then that's it. Just win everything. Were you impressed with that first game from United in the league at Bournemouth as well? Um, yeah, I knew it was. It would be very. It would be very difficult. Bournemouth away, the first game. Like we, physically, like you know, it's only the first game. So, but to score three goals like this and to win, I think the the, the team and even the coach said the team, the team got great. They done very well. I think for the for the first game and and everything. So that's that's what we're looking for. We want to always to be the best and and carry on in that way. What about the next game then? Are you are you fit enough to play to start maybe against Southampton? I hope so. Now that's that's why you have to that you have to ask the manager for this. But I feel, to be honest, I feel I feel very good. You know, I've been training for like ten days with the team. Um, I'm I'm okay. And what about the disrupted pre-season? Do you not think that'll have any effect then? Well, um, I'm quite used to this because of the I played World Cup two, um, was it two years ago? I've been when I was in Juve. You've been sometimes I've been and three years ago I've done the World Cup uh, under twenty and yeah under twenty. So I'm quite used to this. And it's about your your body. I've been training a bit when I was on holidays. So I'm okay. Yeah, Zlatan may have been making fun, but I guess there was a purpose behind that boxing training. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to ask you the the fee. You know, it's a, it's a massive fee. You're now the world's most expensive footballer. How, how does that feel? And does it bring a pressure? Does it make you nervous or anything like that? No. Just play football. I'm happy to play football. I always love football. That's why I, that's why I do. I don't even think about about all this because well, it happened now. It's behind me. I'm looking forward to win the league. And that's it. That's it. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Thank you very much.